Why do you test dogs for his behavior with other dogs before placing or determining placement? At some point, they are going to be in contact with them. Most adopters have dogs, or a lot of adopters have dogs. Um, what, are you, what are you looking for? Um, yeah, there's, I think, three things you look for when you're testing dogs with other dogs. First and foremost, you are looking to, to determine, is this dog a killer? In other words, if he gets loose in his lifetime, would he kill another dog? Would he seek out and do, you know, uh, incredible harm? Um, those are rare, but they're out there. And if they're going to be anywhere, it's going to be in a shelter, not in a home. So, very important to test for that. Ten-month-old um, female, and this is her test, and she's going to meet, I believe she actually meets Donner, who's a black spaniel mix. Um, and this is their test, and uh, We'll take a look at it and we'll talk about it. And so we're going to be looking at this dog's behavior. So what did she do? She was standing up. Was she fully frontal? Were her eyes, head, and spine aligned when she was standing? No, she was offset, which is less threatening and less um, aggressive than standing fully frontal. So that was good. It's a little bit more open communication. She's off to the side waiting to see how the other dog's going to respond. Um, is she lunging forward at the end of her leash uncontrollably? No. no. Um, is she behind the tester? No. no. So she's in front of the tester. She was standing and then she, I think she sat and then yawned or yawned and then sat. Um, and she's still not completely frontal to the dog. She's still a little offset, which is less threatening. That's good. And she barked once. She looked away. Did you see her look away? I always count how many times they look away. I think it's a good sign when a dog doesn't fixate on the other dog and actually has the time to look around the environment or look at, at humans. If you're testing a dog, and let's say you're testing it, and there's somebody else in the room writing down the notes, and the dog tends to you know, stand in front of or claim one person as a resource. It's not a huge deal. If he's using aggression to do it, it's a big deal. Um, but most dogs consider uh, they're human as they're a resource to a certain degree. Um, I probably can't answer, she's asking about specific, like the dog's pushing into her body. I probably can't answer sort of a specific question like that, except that I would say if something concerns you and you're like, huh, what is that? Then you say it's gray area, hold the dog another couple of days, test it again. Um, the more you can find out about the dogs, the better you can make a placement. You can find a much better home for the dog. And there are some dogs that if you get it right the first time, good. And if you don't get it right the first time, you're not going to be able to find another home for them. And so it's worth it to, you know, it, admit, you might say, I can't put my finger on it, but this dog, I, I'm a little uncomfortable right now. Could we just try something else with this dog or could we hold him another day and put him in somebody's office so we can see what more of what he's really like. All that is fine to do. Good, so now my dog's staring, you stop right there. Now the thing about Hop Singh is he's suicidal. The dog could be absolutely re ready and able to kill him and he wouldn't care. So don't look at him for a lot of good communication. He's not great to test dogs with. Um, so what has my dog done? What did you hear? One high-pitched um, squeak. She's been um, more aroused by the new dog. Um, her tail's higher than with the first female. Hop Singh has looked and looked away, looked and looked away. She's looked away a few times. So, Mayor, we're going to come forward and um, <coughs> a little bit. And so, second time she's gotten up on the stage. Good, bring your dog a little closer. Perfect. Good handling. Who wants to hump? <laughs> I know, so now I feel like We've done two hours of dog-to-dog -dog stuff, and I feel like we probably know less now than we did when you first walked in, <laughs> right?
like all these questions, every interaction doesn't tell you, it just brings up more questions. But um, I think that's an okay place to be in the dog world. I think if you think you really have it figured out or you know what that dog really is, you're probably in a lot of trouble. And um, I feel like the more I learn and observe, just the more questions I have. It's not like the more answers I have. I, I like what experience gives me, you know, because every time you make a decision, you don't know what happens to the dogs you euthanize. You do know what happens to the dogs you decide to place. And you need to be able to learn from every one of those, which means if they get returned or you talk to an owner, ask as many in-depth questions as possible. And because um, you want to try and find out as much as possible. And uh, I think every shelter tries to make the right decision every time, whether it's place or euthanize. Both carry a huge weight of responsibility. Both will keep you up at night, and both will make you wonder how you'll be judged when you die. Um, it's true, really hard decisions. And I'm telling you, sometimes you worry more about the dog you placed with the family with the kids as you do about the dog you euthanized, because you predicted he would be violent. And um, here is the ideal line. And you, you try to achieve it, and you won't always achieve it. You'll be on either side every once in a while. What you want to make sure you're not doing is making a mistake by placing a dog that actually will kill somebody or kill another dog. And it's been done four times now by shelters. And you want to make sure also that you're not euthanizing some really great dog because it had a snotty nose or it had, you know, heartworm or something. Or nobody recognized it. You don't temperament test because you think it's evil and it's the enemy. And so you don't evaluate. And so that really great dog who was very plain looking or ugly or sick or whatever, nobody knew how great he was and he got euthanized. <laughs>